to all the organizers of the International Virtual Conference on Education, Social Sciences, and Technology 2021 at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, this date, July 31, 2021, to all of the audience, listeners, and also to my co-presenters for this event. A pleasant day to all. I'm Dr. Eddie Balaiko from the Philippines, and I'm a mathematics instructor at the Senior High School and Graduate School Department of Don Honorio Ventura State University. My research is titled, relationships in the virtual classrooms and its effect on students' academic resilience and performance. For the research rationale, learning in the new normal is a challenge for both teachers and students. During this impact of coronavirus on education, one of the challenges encountered by educators in the Philippines was establishing good teacher-student relationships and peer relationships in the virtual classroom, also known as the online classroom. It, did, it is not an easy task for teachers to build relationships from behind a screen with their brand new set of students they've never met face to face. Relationship building in a traditional classroom setting appears to face fewer challenges compared to the one we enforce in a virtual or online setting. Building strong relationships in the virtual classroom provides students with a sense of support and the knowledge that their teachers care for them. While schools are closed, students may have an even greater need for social interaction and social emotional support. According to Major 2012, environment plays a vital role in promoting classroom relationships, particularly in virtual classroom relationships in education in the new normal. Appropriate expectations create consistently strengthened behaviors and are stated in a well-managed classroom management environment, environmental setting. In the virtual learning environment, aspects of nonverbal communication, fostering robust and lasting teacher-student relationships, and sound peer relationships in online classes may be challenging considering its unique nature as a learning environment. Human relationships in virtual classroom, it is the academic relationship of students to their teachers and classmates in the online or virtual learning setup. It can be classified into two academic relations such as teacher-student relationships and peer relationships. Strong supporting student-teacher relationships might promote students' feelings of safety, security, and belongingness and may eventually lead to higher academic achievements. Moreover, positive sound teacher-student relationships are an important component of student success. That was according to Clement Connell 2004, State's Keyword and Dettich 2018. According to Wenzel, Russell, and Baker, 2016, relationships with peers are highly necessary to children throughout childhood and adolescence since this provides a source of companionship, help seeking in solving problems, personal validation, and emotional support. Academic resilience beating the odds for better results. According to Riley and Mastin, 2005, resilience is the process of capacity for or outcome of successful adaptation despite challenging or threatening, particularly during this COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on education. According to Martin 2013, academic resilience is concerned primarily with the relevance of resilience in educational context and is defined as a capacity to overcome acute and or chronic adversity that is seen as a major threat to students' educational development. For the research objectives, the general aim of the researcher in this study is to determine if human relationships, particularly uh, teacher-student relationship and peer relationships, significantly affects uh, academic res resilience and academic performance of the respondents. But particularly, the, the researcher will describe the level of academic relationships, uh, particularly teacher-student and peer relationships 
Uh, moreover, the level of academic resilience and performance of the students will be also described. For the research methodology, the research design employed in this study is descriptive correlational. Since descriptive, uh, descriptive correlational focuses more on describing and looking for relationships among or between, on, between and among variables, so this is the most suited design for this study. For the research respondents, there are 720 students from selected junior high schools in different state universities and colleges in Region 3 offering virtual or online classes. A uh, simple sum, sum, random sampling technique was utilized wherein um, all uh, students in different state universities were given chances to be selected as respondents of the study. Stratified proportional sampling was also utilized considering the, the population of different strata or stratum or different SOOCs. For research instruments, as can be observed on the table, uh, teacher-student relationship scale, peer relationship scale, and academic resilience scale are said to be both valid and reliable, having a Cronbach alpha coefficient of greater than 0.70, which is the threshold for reliability analysis, and content validity index of 100% or 1.00, or it means that all of the expert validators assess the instruments to be highly relevant. For the results and discussions, first we have the descriptive analysis of respondents' assessment of their academic relationship to their peers during virtual classes. As can be observed on the table, the respondents strongly agreed that they can seek help from their classmates through social media. Example, Facebook. And also, they can depend on their classmates whenever they need some updates in their virtual classes. The rest of the indicators were agreed by the, the respondents, such as they can tell their classmates about the difficulties in their lesson via text, call, or chat. And they are comfortable to learn in, a, in their virtual class before their classmates and they are excited to attend their virtual class because of their classmates. So overall, the respondents have high level of academic relationship to their peers, having a grand mean of 3.18. Next is the descriptive analysis of respondents' assessment of their academic relationship to their teachers during virtual classes. As shown on the table, data reveal that the, that the respondents strongly agreed that their teacher cares for them uh, in their virtual classes. Then the rest of the indicators were agreed by the, the student respondents, like uh, they're comfortable to share their ideas to their teachers during online class. They can tell their teachers about their difficulties via text, call, or chat, or they can feel that they belong in their virtual class because of their teacher, and so on. Generally, the, the student respondents' level of academic relationship to their teachers is said to be high, having a grand mean of 3.01. For the descriptive analysis of respondents' assessment of their academic resilience, the result shows that the respondents strongly agreed in most of the indicators under this construct, like they strongly agree that they don't easily give up when they encounter problems, they think positive thoughts to motivate themselves, they use teachers' feedback to improve their performance in class, they try to think more about their strengths and weaknesses to help other work better, and so on and so forth. Majority of the, the respondents strongly agreed but for the level of academic relation, academic resilience of the, the respondents, it shows that they have high level of academic resilience. For students' academic performance, results shows that the performance of the students is said to be outstanding, having a grand mean of 93.55 
and standard deviation of 3.42, we're in for an outstanding student. A student should score or should have a grade of 90 and above. For the correlation of virtual classroom relationships on students' academic resilience, result reveals that teacher-student relationship and peer relationships are positively correlated to their academic resilience, having a Pearson value of 0 0.694 and 0 0.657 respectively. This only means that the higher the connectedness of students to their teachers and classmates is the higher their level of resiliency in dealing with the challenges of virtual classes to them. This was supported by the study of Frisbee, Hosek, and Beck 2020 that they revealed when both instructor and peer relationships were considered together, only peer connectedness was significantly and positively associated with academic resilience. Moreover, Lee and Me 2020 in their study about the mediating role of academic resilience between the relationship of teacher and peer relationships on life satisfaction Results showed that academic resilience served as a full mediator and is significantly associated to teacher and peer relationships. This only shows that academic resilience affect the academic performance of the, the respondents, considering the, the full mediator effect of academic resilience. Next is the correlation analysis of or between academic resilience and performance. Data show that there is a positive relationship between academic performance and academic resilience of the students in the virtual classrooms. And this relationship is said to be significant. So the more resilience the pupil is, the better their performance in their classmates when exposed to virtual classes. Rather, uh, the more resilient the pupil is, the better their performance in their academics when exposed to virtual or online classes. Mwangi 2015 found out that there is a significant relationship between academic resilience and academic performance. He also added that academically, resilient students are more successful in school and are more likely to thrive academically. For the effect of human relationships, uh, human relationships in virtual classroom on students' academic resilience and performance results shows that academic resilience and academic achievement depends on their on teacher-student relationship or we can say that teacher-student relationship significantly affects or influences academic resilience and academic achievement of the students. This supports the claim of Lee 2007 in her study that student teacher student relationship was a significant predictor of academic performance. Gan 2020 also stated that in the article that positive teacher student relationship creates silent students. Moreover, Kaufman and Sandilas 2020 stated that students who have close, positive, and supportive relationships with their teachers will attain higher levels of achievement than those students with more difficult in their relationships. For the impact of peer relationships on academic resilience and achievement, result reveals that peer relationships or academic relationships of students to their peers significantly impacts uh, academic resilience and academic achievement. Peer relationship in virtual classroom environment significantly affect students' resiliency and performance in their academics in virtual classroom. Furrer et al. Or other, and others 2013 in their study that peer relationship has significant influence on students' engagement, motivational resilience, and academic outcomes. Similarly, Lee and Lee 2020 concluded that teacher and peer relations have significant influence on students' resilience, which further affects also their academic performance. For the conclusion and recommendations, the result of this study showed that virtual classroom relationships in terms of teacher-student and peer relationships have significant impact on students' academic resilience and performance. The findings of the study provide empirical evidence with regards to the need for psychosocial reorientation, 
on students' ability to connect academically with their teachers and peers as well as their ability to become resilient learners during the conduct of online classes or virtual classes. Adequate teacher support and positive peer relations may lead to enhanced academic resilience, which may also promote a meaningful and fulfilled life academically. For the recommendations like conduct of seminars, webinars on developing virtual classroom relationships and strategies, methods may be considered. Academic support must be absorbed also by parents during the virtual classroom. Third, we have having virtual classroom hours for parents too. We can be a good way to keep engaged and involved. Fourth is more on teachers should be also trained on how to transform an engaging virtual classroom, which promotes sound relationships among their students. And lastly, future researchers should conduct longitudinal studies, which may validate the result of this research article. With that, I would like to thank all the organizers of this event for the IVES 2021 for the opportunity uh, given to me in presenting my paper and to God be the glory. Thank you very much.